Hey, we partnered up with a company called Dream World to bring you exclusive anime merch that you can't find anywhere else. If you love Demon Slayer, we've got Tanjiro, My Boy Zenitsu, and so much more. Check it out at enterdreamworld.com or click the link in the description. What up, Space Fam? Goes in here from Anime Out Pro, and today we're going to be talking about the official end of Demon Slayer and everything we know so far about the Demon Slayer movie, including the latest updates. If you enjoy seeing Demon Slayer videos on this channel and want to keep them coming, show Demon Slayer some love by smashing that like button and sharing this video. We cover a lot of anime on this channel and it's always fun to see what the fan base's favorite anime is and one way we can judge that is by number of likes. So if Demon Slayer is one of your favorites, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button. Let's see if we can get something epic like over 10,000 likes. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe and this is crucial, ring that notification bell or you will miss future Demon Slayer videos and updates. To get early access to our updates and reviews, follow our podcast, Anime Opera Audio, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. Links in the description. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it. First off, let's talk about the news we have about the end of the Demon Slayer manga series. Multiple articles online from Mickey.com to comicbook.com have been reporting that chapter 205 of the manga, which is supposed to drop on May 17th, will be the official end of the Demon Slayer manga. And that doesn't mean that we won't get any more Demon Slayer related stuff, like sequels or spin-offs, since that might still happen, especially considering the popularity of Demon Slayer, more on that later. But as far as this Demon Slayer series that we know, set in a specific time with specific characters, that's gonna come to an end. Although some characters may return as older versions of themselves. If you recall, the end of chapter 204, showed us a modern landscape, suggesting that a lot of time has passed and the new and final chapter will take place in this setting. This, in my mind, is the perfect setup for a new series that will take place in the Demon Slayer world, but where our main characters have to fight demons in the modern age with all of the uniqueness and complications that that brings. But let me know your thoughts. Are you sad that the Demon Slayer manga series we knew is no more? Are you looking forward to demon slaying in the modern age? Or or are you upset by this turn of events? Let me know in the comments. I personally think that chapter 204 was a beautiful end to a great story and I'm open-minded to see where we go from here. Besides, we also have many more epic moments, some of my favorites, that have yet to be animated. So we'll be able to look forward to that in the upcoming years. And that brings me to the new Demon Slayer movie. And it's surprising that I haven't done a video yet about this movie, since it's huge and obviously I cover Demon Slayer on this channel. In regards to the movie, if you somehow don't know yet, after the first Demon Slayer season, a Demon Slayer movie was announced. This is not like when some anime do a bonus side movie in between canon and seasons. And by canon, I just mean content from the actual manga rather than original non-canon or sometimes called filler content. In this case, we're getting something I haven't seen often. The Demon Slayer movie will actually continue with manga material right where season 1 left off. So in a way, this movie is going to be like a short season 2. One of the reasons they're probably doing this is because Demon Slayer is insanely popular. In 2019, so for that year, Demon Slayer as a series sold more manga than any other manga including One Piece. 2020 will be even crazier. The reporting year for manga sales is from November to October. And as of May 13th, 2020, the Demon Slayer manga reportedly sold at least 40 million copies for this year, making it one of the best-selling years for any manga series already, with plenty of the reporting year left to go. That's absolutely insane, and I think that the movie, which will likely have a very nice budget, is gonna be capitalizing on this popularity, which as we we've seen has only increased in 2020. The fact that the movie is also canon makes it impossible for fans of the anime to ignore. When you consider that non-canon One Piece movies can gross crazy figures approaching $100 million worldwide, then you can imagine how much a canon movie for the currently best-selling manga of the year can make. I'm not saying that this movie will beat the One Piece movies, but I am personally excited to see how many fans this movie is going to draw in and whether it's going to become one of the highest grossing anime films of all time. In my view, it definitely has the potential to break into the top 50. So when's the movie being released? As of now, the film is scheduled to release in Japanese theaters on October 16th, 2020. 
So not only is the movie going to be fueled by the record-breaking sales of the Demon Slayer manga this year, the buzz around the film is also sure to increase the sales of the manga as well. Now I'll quickly refer to the likely plot that will take place in this film. So if you're anime only and don't want to know, you can click off the video right now. 3, 2, 1, okay. So for people who are wondering how much exactly the movie will cover, it seems clear to me that it is going to be covering the fight between Lower Moon 1, the strongest Lower Moon, and our main characters on the Demon Train. Lower Moon 1 Enmu's abilities allow him to enter or let his servants enter other people's dreams. Once in their dreams, Enmu or his servants can find and destroy their spiritual core, which will destroy the mind of the opponent. We're going to get some epicness from the flame pillar, Kyojuro Rengoku, one of my favorite characters in anime. Rengoku is so inspirational, I posted not one but two quotes of him on my Anime Opera Instagram, link in the description. One of them goes like this, no matter how weak or unworthy you feel, keep your heart burning, grit your teeth, and move forward. If you just curl up in a ball and hide, time will pass by. It won't stop for you while you wallow in grief. End quote. That's the kind of stuff you can expect from Kyojuro Rengoku. He'll remind you to set your heart ablaze and most importantly, to always smash that like button. However, I think that the movie will end before Rengoku really gets to shine at his brightest level and we'll have to wait until the next movie or season to see him in his full glory. After the defeat of Lower Moon 1, Upper Moon 3 Akaza shows up, the best villain in Demon Slayer in my view and an all around very strong demon dude. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke won't stand a chance against this guy, so Rengoku will have to fight him. This is going to be an epic fight, one of my favorites, but I think that this movie will end right as Akaza shows up, thus building more hype around the next season. Lower Moon 1 has definitely been presented as being the main bad guy for this film, so it makes sense that it will end after his defeat. And that is it for this quick update video on the Demon Slayer manga, the film, and Demon Slayer's mind-blowing popularity. If you want to see more of these kinds of update videos, let me know by smashing that like button and sharing this video. We cover a lot of anime on this channel, and it's always fun to see what the fan base's favorite anime is, and one way we can judge that is by number of likes. So if Demon Slayer is one of your favorites, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button. Let's see if we can get something epic like over 10,000 likes. Also, leave a comment letting me know if you get value from these kinds of videos as well. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell or you will miss new Demon Slayer videos and important updates. And let me know what specific Demon Slayer videos you're itching to see. To get early access to our updates and reviews, follow our podcast Anime Opera Audio on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. Links in the description. Lastly, the YouTube ad rates have significantly dropped recently, so the help and support we're getting from our Anime Uproar patrons is now more important than ever. A very special thank you goes to our patrons over on Patreon who help us survive these YouTube issues and who help make videos like this one possible. First and foremost, I want to thank the legend acknowledged by Lord Twigo himself, Efren A. And the one tier patrons, the ones who stand atop all clans, Steven Ingrata, Alola Natem, The World, Steelers, Tyson Quirino, Acquire Respect, Pate Heffa, Jonathan King, Desi D, Brandon Aviles, and Emperor Otaku, and our pro hero tier patrons, the one and only Gilgamesh, Nothing But A Fan, Jason Wilson, King Zeldris, Anatoly Kazatsky, Angel Cruz, I Sparky, 65, Cricket XP, Ted No Ted, Joe Stanton, Very Gucci, Alicia Actor, Animal 69, Jessica Califon, Hinokami and Water, Bonnie Parks, Zodiar 12, Rathuan De Ora, Tian Huang, Mitch Loves Anime, Cynical, and JCC Waka. Thank you all so much. If you enjoy our work, you can support more of it by going over to patreon.com slash animeuproar and becoming a patron today for as little as $1. If you do so, you'll get your name featured in future videos alongside these amazing people right here, and you'll even get access to our private patron-only Discord, where we talk about anime, life, and of course, dank memes. So check out patreon.com slash animeuproar, link in the description if you're interested. You can also now join the YouTube channel and support more content that way if you prefer. Whichever way you choose to support us, you can get the same great benefits. Thanks again, and until next time, see ya, Space Cowboys.